Hello and welcome to Scaria.com. Today we have brought you a rare genetic disease that may remain unnoticed, but it can cause drastic effects on our routine lifestyle. If it is diagnosed at an early stage, we may try to prevent it by doing some interventions that I'll be uh, discussing in the lecture further on. I'm talking about Kleinfelter syndrome today. Kleinfelter syndrome is a disorder found in males associated with 47XXY karyotype. The major clinical feature of Kleinfelter syndrome are attributable to primarily hypogonadism, which is characterized by a low production of androgens. Because of this, there is a primary testicular failure in these individuals and it often presents as gynecomastia. This term gynecomastia basically means the enlargement and swelling of breasts in males. Patients can present with infertility in your clinics, that is, inability to reproduce, and also a term which is called as unicoid habitus is used for such individuals. Now, what does this term unicoid habitus actually means. It is basically a body habitus that is tall, slime, and underweight. These people usually have long legs and long arms. That is an arm span is usually exceeding the height by five centimeters or more. So these were the major clinical features that you would focus on when such patients present to you in your outpatient departments. That is the hypogonadism, then the infertility, gynecomastia, and unicoid habitus. These are the major clinical features to focus on. To find out more, don't forget to subscribe to scaria.com and continue watching the remaining lecture.